this video, we are going to discuss about mesh analysis. In mesh analysis, uh, we will consider the current flowing to each mesh. Hence, the uh, mesh analysis is also called as mesh current method. So, here you have a term called branch. Branch is a path uh, that joins two nodes and it contains a circuit element. If a branch belongs to one mesh, uh, then the branch current will be equal to mesh current. So, if branch is a common to two meshes, uh, then branch current will be equal to sum of uh, sum or difference of two mesh current when they are same or opposite direction. So, these are the steps that to be followed for solving the any electrical networks or uh, circuit using mesh analysis. First uh, step is to identify the meshes and uh, label the mesh current uh, in either clockwise or anti-clockwise direction. Then uh, second step is to observe the amount of current that flows through each element in terms of mesh current. The third point is uh, write mesh equations to all meshes. Mesh equation is obtained by applying KVL first and then Ohm's law. The last step is to uh, solve the mesh equations obtained in the step three, step 3 in order to get the mesh current. So, in the circuit analysis, we know that the loop is an important term. Any closed loop, uh, any closed path in the loop, in the circuit is called as a loop. So, in mesh analysis, uh, we solve the circuit by uh, defining the meshes in the circuits. A uh, mesh is a loop that doesn't contain any inner loop or it is a small plus possible loop in the circuit. Mesh analysis is only applicable to the planar network. So, what is planar network is a network that can be drawn in a plane where none of its branches are crossing one another. A circuit network can be rearranged to make it planar, but it cannot be simplified to make the network a planar network. So, the number of equations that is required to solve any electrical uh, network with the help of mesh formula is uh, E is nothing but the number of equation that is equal to number of mesh. The formula is M is equal to B minus B is number of branches minus N is number of node minus 1. Okay. So, if we solve, we can say that the number of equations and the number of meshes are same. So now let us discuss about the applications of mesh analysis. Uh, it is used for solving the complex electrical networks and to determine the current voltage drop at any point of the circuit. Second point is uh, in power systems, uh, uh, it is used to understand the flow of current and voltage in complex power networks. The third point is uh, in control system, it is used in the analysis of feedback with systems and it is used in finding the faults and current correcting them. Next one is advantages of mesh analysis. So it simplifies the circuit, circuit calculations and finding the voltage and current at different point of the circuit. It has a systematic and easy to implement approach. It reduces the number of equations in circuit solutions and it it is used in the implementation of other network theorems like Thevenin's, Norton's, etc. The disadvantage of mesh analysis is it is only applicable to the planar network. <coughs> in case of presence of dependent source, the number of equations get increases, and it is used uh, limited to use in the linear uh, circuits. And last point of meshes and uh, mesh current is not correctly assigned, then the solution becomes complex, and sometimes it will go wrong. So, let me assume um, uh, uh, this is my circuit, okay. Uh, this is a closed path. Hey, another. This is your R1, R2, R3, and R4, okay. And this is your voltage, okay. So, this circuit I can draw it like this, okay. So, 
So here you have V and here you have R2 and here you have R4. So you can see this is R1, R3, R1, R3 and R2. Here you have V and uh, here you have R4. So total branches are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So uh, here the total branches is 5. Okay. So the number of nodes is this is your number of nodes. Okay. Uh, capital N. So this B uh, number of nodes. Uh, that is equal to 4. Okay. Uh, then uh, number of loops. So how many loops are there? Uh, this is a one loop. Okay. And this is a second loop. Right. Starting from here. Okay. This is a second loop. This is a first loop. And you have a third loop. Okay. So number of loops. Loops is equal to 3. Okay. And then mesh. Okay. Mesh is a mesh is equal to. So you have. <coughs> if you see. Um, <coughs> this is your first loop. And this is your second loop. And this is your third loop. This third loop contains. Uh, first loop and second loop. So this has to be avoided. Okay. So if I, if the third loop is containing. First loop and third loops. Uh, then that loop should be avoided. Therefore you have only one and two meshes okay and uh, you know the formula for mesh that is equation e is equal to b minus n minus 1 okay so what is b b is 5 minus uh, 4 minus 1 that is uh, 5 minus 3 that is equal to 2 so the number of mesh is equal to 2 so and uh, i can form um, uh, two equations based on the values of the uh, this acute okay and I can assign the current in either direction. Either it is in uh, clockwise direction or it can be, uh, the current should be in the uh, negative direction. So I can assign this one as I1 current and this one as I2 current. Okay. It can be either clockwise or uh, anti-clockwise direction. So in the next video, we will discuss about uh, how to solve the problems based on the messages i hope uh, this video is uh, useful for you